The NBA thrives because it portrays its best players as heroes. And where there are heroes, there must be villains. Here's how Trey Young became the NBA's newest supervillain and how his hate compares to some of the most hated players in NBA history. How Trey became the NBA supervillain. There are five major reasons why some people can't stand Trey Young. Some of it because of Trey, and some of it is completely out of his control. It all started during his college days at Oklahoma. At first, Trey was extremely underrated. He was playing great, but because his school was primarily known for football, he received very little media attention. However, when Trey started dropping 30 and 40 regularly, leading the NCAA in scoring and assists, ESPN started up the hype machine. It was Trey Young this, Trey Young that. You couldn't listen to any sports show that didn't mention Trey every five seconds. And guess what? Some people got sick of it, and we don't blame them. Trey was a great college player, but to little fault of his own, he was way overhyped. The opposing fans hated that this little guy was getting all the attention, and because he was usually destroying their schools, Young got booed in almost every arena. When some fans discovered Trey had a bird phobia, they even started bringing giant pictures of birds to distract him. Three months later came the NBA draft and the infamous Young Doncic trade. When the regular season started, all those who already hated Trey Young were licking their fingers. Trey was playing horribly, missing shots, not existing defensively, and generally struggling to find any rhythm on the court. On the other hand, Luka played spectacularly, and the Hawks GM looked like the biggest fool on the planet. But then, Trey got better. He adapted to the speed of the game and started making shots. Towards the end of the season, he even got into the Rookie of the Year conversation, and all of those who talked trash about him being a bust had to eat their words. With every great game and eventually becoming an all-star in his second season, Young was rubbing it in their face even more, which surely didn't sit well for those who disliked him then. As he was blossoming into a superstar, Trey started to pull superstar moves with the referees, complaining and milking for fouls. Trey also used to jump forward a lot to hunt for free throws, which in all fairness was disgusting. But Chris Paul, Curry, Harden, and plenty of others were doing it as well, and we're glad that the league changed that rule for the 2022 season. Some fans didn't like Trey shooting threes from 35 feet, and some trash-talked his defense. However, the real army of haters weren't even on board yet, and Trey got the most of them in the first playoff series of his career. It's quiet as F in here. In the 2021 playoffs, the Atlanta Hawks played the New York Knicks, who enjoyed their first playoff berth in eight years. Trey would make sure the Knicks remembered it well. He hit the game-winning floater in Game 1 to cap off his 32-point, 10-assist performance. As he was walking towards the bench, Young shushed the Knicks fans, saying, it's quiet as F in here. Oh boy, did they hate him in the garden after that. For the remainder of the series, the Knicks fans booed him, cursed him, mocked his hair, and one fan even spat on Trey. However, Trey loved the animosity, and he fed off it. Their trash talking inspired him to play great, and he wanted to add even more fuel to the fire. After he made the three-pointer that sent the Knicks fishing in the deciding Game 5, Trey bowed to the New York crowd in a true Reggie Miller fashion. Almost 30 years after Reggie made a choke sign towards Spike Lee, New York found another Nick killer in the form of Trey Young. And just like Reggie, Trey is almost universally hated amongst all Knicks fans. Some six months after he knocked the Knicks out of the playoffs, Trey used this when he appeared at a WWE event in Madison Square Garden. Arriving in a Hawks hoodie, he played the heel once again, as the entire arena booed the hell out of him. Villain Legacy The most absurd thing about the Trey Young hate is that some people don't like him because of the way he looks. Young has that Christian Leitner quality of looking smug after a big play. People who hate him say that his small frame paired with a baby face look makes it seem like he shouldn't be good at basketball. Iverson was small, but he was cooler than everybody and had swagger for days. Trey kind of looks like your polite next door neighbor who's good at math and can name all of Jupiter's moons, and people are pissed that a guy who looks like that is busting their team. But then there's also the antics. Trey is known to do a shimmy after a big shot, and he sometimes grabs his shoulders and shivers, mimicking his nickname Ice Trey. So when the smallest guy on the floor beats you and then rubs your face in it, oh, that's gotta hurt. Kobe Bryant loved to be booed, and he liked to be arrogant towards the fans to spike their hatred. Some people feed off negative energy, and if Young is anything like Kobe, he'll keep being a jerk to opposing fans. The NBA's Most Hated 
LeBron James has been hated on for years on end, and Skip Bayless alone has been hating on LeBron for over a decade now. He finds new ways to undermine him almost every day, despite LeBron being one of the greatest players ever, and you can argue that Skip's entire career is based on hating LeBron. Now, Trey Young doesn't have that kind of notoriety yet, but he could if he keeps on shushing opposing arenas in the playoffs. Basketball is a sport where emotions run high, and there's plenty of passion and drama throughout the game. So naturally, it's easy for fans to fall in love with heroes and be full of disgust for the villains. For example, take Christian Leitner, who was hated more than any other college player in history. People didn't like him for various reasons, either for being a good-looking dookie, because he was winning all the time, or the swaggy way he carried himself on the court, which many perceived as arrogance. ESPN even made a 30 for 30, titled I Hate Christian Leitner, where various players, coaches, and fans describe their reasons for hating this guy's guts. One of the biggest reasons for hating players is free agency and trades. Free agency can be heartbreaking, especially if your superstar leaves for another city. Vince Carter got absolutely trashed every time he went to Toronto, ever since his gruesome tanking and forcing the Raptors to trade him. After LeBron's decision in 2010, he was despised everywhere but Miami, and KD's move to Golden State made him the state enemy number one in Oklahoma City. Then oftentimes, players get hated on even harder during playoff battles. Reggie Miller wasn't very welcomed in New York due to his beef with Spike Lee and the nickname Nick Killer. Kobe was hated because of his arrogance and success against pretty much any franchise. Everybody loathed Bill Lambeer and Bruce Bowen because they were dirty players who deliberately planted their feet for somebody to turn their ankle. People also hated Dwight Howard because he was acting like a diva. Draymond Green and Jimmy Butler for being too loud and annoying, and Karl Malone for elbowing people in the face. And sometimes, the fan hate isn't even related to basketball. Just look at Chris Humphreys, who was hated for being married to Kim Kardashian and looking like a trust fund privileged golden boy. With Trey Young sharing so many character traits with some of the players we just mentioned, especially Kobe and Reggie Miller. Other than Russell Westbrook and James Harden, Trey is one of the most hated players in the NBA right now. Young has all the qualities of a great villain. He's smug, he's cocky, he can clearly handle the pressure and has the game to back it up. Plus, when an entire fan base hates you because of one playoff series, you have some serious supervillain potential. 